Welcome to DIY Easy Crafts. Today we're going to take a look at how to make Captain Dan's flatbread clams. It's an easy do-it-yourself recipe. Now we start out by heading out to the sandbar uh, to catch or to dig up some fresh clams. You don't have to do that. You could certainly skip ahead uh, and buy a, a few cans of chopped clams. The ingredients are simple. You need clams, sweet onion, flatbread, mozzarella, uh, garlic, parsley, basil, and olive oil. Now this is not a, a, a chef's recipe video. I'm just going to show you how I make clams flatbread. Um, so I don't shuck the clams. I throw them in a pot of boiling water just long enough for them to open. So that during this process, it, it accomplishes two things. Number one, it opens the clams for me, uh, which is you know, very easy. <laughs> and uh, two, it starts to cook the clams. You don't want to leave them in the border, uh, boiling water for too long. You know, they'll get a little rubbery if you do. And then when you take them out, you really want to put them into some cool water. Stop that cooking process. And at the same time, it will prevent you from burning your hands on hot clamshells. So after all the clams are completely cool, you can start by breaking uh, the shells apart and cleaning out the contents. So any little kitchen knife will do. You want to get out the clam and then also the muscle that attaches the, uh, the two halves of the shell together. And this is not difficult. Little, little time consuming, but not difficult at all. You kind of get into a, into a routine Now I chopped up some sweet onion and really, you know, clams flatbread as well as baked clams, it's all going to be to the individual's taste. So I like finely chopped onions. I like a decent amount of onions uh, on, the, on the flatbread, but this is going to be, and the seasonings are all going to be to the individual's taste. Um, you can certainly use one of the food processors to, to chop those onions, you know, very finely. And then I'm going to start prepping the clams. Now, a lot of people don't go through this process. Um, I basically cut off the little black beak and then I clean out the stomach contents. So the, the little black beak I cut off and then I rotate the clam and this bulge I just cut halfway through and kind of pull it to the side. The way I figure it is why eat clam poop if you don't have to? And again, this process is not super hard. It does take you know, a little bit of time, but you do get into a, a, a pretty quick routine with it. Now, once all the clams are cleaned out, you can chop those. I like to just use a, a, a knife that you can rock. And this is, again, uh, to your taste, whether you want to have big chunks or whether you want to uh, put this into a food processor and, and really grind them down into small pieces. The end result is only going to differ in the texture of the clams and the texture of the onions. So now we're almost done. So we're going to start by taking uh, the clams and we're going to mix everything together. So I add some onions and again, the, we're not going to give a proportion here because it's all going to be uh, to the person's own taste. I like a decent amount of onions in with my clams. This is chopped garlic. I add a little bit of olive oil. And 
and then I season it with uh, basil and parsley. Now you could add some additional seasons to uh, seasoning to it. You could certainly add salt or, or black pepper. Uh, sometimes I add chopped uh, celery into the mix. And this is almost ready to go into the oven. So you can use flatbread, you can use the soft round shells from, you know, for soft tacos. I coat them with a little bit of olive oil. And then I just throw them uh, into the oven at uh, 350 or 375 just to toast them, just to get them a little bit crispy. Only takes, really only takes a couple of minutes. Then you sprinkle on mozzarella, mozzarella, basically a clam pizza. Then I'm going to add the mix, just sprinkle it on. And then back into the oven, uh, 350, you know, for 10 minutes or so. When they come out, the cheese could, should be completely melted. And that's it. A really delicious, uh, you can use it as an appetizer. You can cut it into slices and use it as an appetizer uh, or as a complete meal. Very easy to make, really simple, simple recipe. And then once you make it once, you can adjust the ingredients to your, you know, to your own taste. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, I, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Uh, please check us out on the web at, at www.diyeasycrafts.com uh, for a variety of, of do-it-yourself how-to projects. Thank you very much.